Hello and welcome to Digital Spotlight. This week we're going to be taking a look at Gale Legal Forms. So Gale Legal Forms offers a, a wide selection of forms that are specific to Illinois that may be used and customized for the most common legal procedures. It has real estate contracts, wills, premarital agreements, bankruptcy, divorce, landlord tenant, and many other types of forms. So let's get started. As always, you can access Gale Legal Forms under the Resources tab on our website and under Databases. And here we are on Gale Legal Forms landing page. Now to start finding legal forms, we can search by category, and we can do that by clicking the blue buttons along the left-hand side or the links towards the bottom half of the page, or we can search for the type of legal form we are looking for at the top. Now one category here that I suspect is of a lot of interest to a great number of people is the Landlord-Tenant section. Let's take a look at that. And here we're looking at the landlord tenant forms, the forms that fall under that category. And what you'll notice is that there's forms that are good both from the standpoint of the tenant and from the landlord. Now, if you were a tenant, say for instance, you wanted to make some changes to the property that you rent, it might be good to check out this top for here, form here, landlord agreement to allow tenant alterations to premises. Here, after we've clicked on it, we can download this form in Microsoft Word format. And if you open up the download, you'll have access to the customizable form. You'll have to, in Word, enable editing along the top. But now we can input all our own specific information so that we can use the form for our own personal uses. And the idea with these forms is to get it in writing, right? I mean, with any agreement like this, you probably could, some of them you probably could do just verbally, but if something goes awry, if there's a dispute, if it ends up going to court, you might be in trouble. Having it in writing means you always have this to consult to. You can always show it to a court, a lawyer, a judge, and it could end up making a potentially messy situation a lot less messy. Back on Gale Legal Forms homepage here, there's one other section I wanted to point out, and that was the legal Q&A. You can get to that in the upper left-hand portion of the page. So here you select a legal topic, and within that legal topic, you'll get state-specific questions and answers to give you kind of a sense of what remedies or actions you might have available in a given situation. So let's take a look at lemon laws just to see what's going on there. I find this is an interesting section to consult to see if anybody has a question similar to one that you have yourself and to see what kind of remedy may or may not be available depending on your state and to see what options are possible. So those are just some of the basics of how you can get litigious with Gale Legal Forms. That's about going to do it for this week's Digital Spotlight. Thanks for watching and have a good rest of your day.